If you love oat milk, but you don't want to buy it at the store and you're trying to avoid any extra additives, you're going to love this easy homemade version. Oat milk is one of the trickier non-dairy milks to make at home because it can have a slimy texture if you're not familiar with these tips that I'm about to share. Once you know what you're doing, it's really quick and easy to make. The first thing you need to know about making oat milk at home is that you need to start with dry oats. If a different recipe tells you to start by soaking the oats first, I don't recommend following that advice. In my experience, wet oats results in a slimier oat milk. The second thing you need to know is that it's important that you only blend the oats briefly. Blending the oats for too long will make your milk slimier, so if you have a high-speed blender, 20 to 30 seconds of blending is all you need. To make oat milk at home, you'll need a half cup of old-fashioned rolled oats, three cups of cold water, and a pinch of salt. If you want to add a little sweetness, you can also add in anywhere from one teaspoon to a whole tablespoon of maple syrup. Just like I mentioned before, it's important that you blend this briefly for only 20 to 30 seconds. As soon as the milk looks creamy, turn off the blender. You do have to strain the pulp out of this oat milk, but it's important that you don't use a nut milk bag. Instead, use a fine mesh strainer and avoid the urge to use a spoon or anything else to press out the milk. In general, you want to avoid any pressing or squeezing of the oat pulp to avoid that slime factor as much as possible. The remaining pulp will be very wet and slimy, so it might not be that appealing to save for another use, but you could try adding it to a bowl of oatmeal or a smoothie later if you'd like to avoid any extra food waste. You can serve this oat milk right away or save it in the fridge for up to four days. Separation is normal with homemade non-dairy milks, but all you have to do is shake it to make it look creamy again. If you'd like to use oat milk in coffee, it works best in iced drinks or as a cold coffee creamer. It does not heat up well for lattes and it will not create any foam the way that homemade cashew milk or almond milk does. So if you need a warm latte, I recommend trying one of those other dairy-free milks instead. Or try homemade hemp milk for a nut-free option. I hope you'll enjoy this homemade oat milk soon. And if you'd like the printable recipe to save for later, you can grab that over on my website, detoxanista.com. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up and check out my other videos here for more quick and easy real food recipes.